Hello, beautiful people. Good to see you today. Happy Wednesday. Hump day. Um, welcome back to Hugs and Honey. I am Ariane. Good to see you today. Um, it's a little bit later than I normally do it. Sorry about that. So we're doing car tarot today um, and uh, just working it in along with our day, right? Just working it into our beautiful day. So I'm shuffling the cards. Please let me know where you are tuning in from so that we can create our virtual network across the globe, um, reminding us that we are all connected and that we um, are all one, really, that no one is alone and that we're all together and that we all experience life and its challenges and ups and downs. Um, we all are on a similar journey. Um, everyone's journey looks slightly different, right? No one's journey is exactly the same, but um, we are all on this journey of life. And tarot is the fool's journey. It is um, the story of the fool who is open to possibilities and opportunities, who doesn't really know um, yet um, all about, you know, all the challenges of life. So we're learning and we're growing and we are looking for some guidance, some inspiration, some validation um, in our daily card pulls to think about, to inspire us, to encourage us, to validate us, to warn us, um, whatever it may be. So that is the intention of our card pull every day. And, um, and we are here to just gather as a community to share this beautiful experience of the journey of life. So I'm going to pull our card for today and we have strength strength card number eight I really love this card in the fool's journey strength is actually our first challenge um, after we gain our wisdom um, from the from our parents the emperor and the empress and learning to go within with the high priestess and the magician um, and then we get schooled by the hierophant and then we have the chariot, which is basically our, um, um, like our, our graduation. Um, oh, we have the lovers and then the chariot. So the lovers is de decision making. And then strength is really our first challenge on this road. It's card number eight. Eight, when you turn it on its side, is looks like the infinity symbol. Um, we are using our intuition and our feelings our our feminine we don't have we don't have to overpower to be powerful so look at her she is she is caressing this lion right leo leo is a sign of strength leo is a fire sign the lion leo um is a fire sign and um and so this card is reminding us um, to surrender to the flow, um, that uh, there is the feminine force of polarity, which is magnetic and receptive. And when we balance the polarity of masculine and feminine, Leo, lion, fire is more of a masculine sign and symbol. And so to have her um, just kind of taming the lion, um, is a really powerful reminder um, for us to balance our masculine and feminine, to remember that our feminine um, is very strong. Um, it's creation versus destruction, opposing forces. So it's, it's finding the balance, the inner harmony um, between the opposing forces, the masculine, feminine, um, the human animal, um, and it's kind of finding this midpoint here, right, on uh, the infinity symbol. That's that balance, the middle of like of a seesaw, right? It's in the center. So it's, it's asking us and reminding us to find that balance in our lives of the polar opposites that we're experiencing. Um, and um, and that there's peace in the center. There's peace there once we find it. So um, care for your body. There's a reminder to care for our body. Um, she is very earthbound, very earth-centered 
card and um, we've got like the mountains and like the rivers and streams there. And so it's reminding us to ground into ourselves to honor all of nature, all of the animals, all of our, our body and the earth around us and um, and the infinite feeling of polarity and striking that balance, finding that balance, because when we're there in the center, that is where our strength lies, right? So like when we're teeter-tottering on either side of the polar opposites, it can feel too extreme. So we're looking for that center, for the midpoint um, of the balance of intuition and feelings and, um, and just learning how to purify ourselves so that we can be there in that center, in the calm, in the eye of the storm, <laughs> in the middle. Okay, guys. So that is our card for the day. Remember to find your balance, find your center. Um, I see you. I hear you. I'm here for you and I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.